Hello everybody, my name is Peachy Banjo 8008 and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. This is like episode 34, I believe. And it is currently getting very close, almost too close. <laughs> I am gonna have to work overtime to finish this episode, I think. Because it's getting very close to September 18th, and we all know that September 18th is, right? No? Okay. Well, September 18th is the two-year anniversary of this Let's Play. So that's what this special episode is about. Now, I said no more Minecraft content stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just making videos, and that's, that's it. I'm just making videos. But anyway, this is the two-year anniversary of this Let's Play, which means we have to do something special. And I thought to myself, why not do another world tour? Our last world tour was episode 18, I believe. That was like over two years. No, wait a minute. That can't be possible. That was like a year and a half ago at this point. And we've done a lot of stuff since then. So I figured we might as well do another one. That's a pretty easy thing to do as a special episode when you don't got a lot of time on your hands. Because you can, you can do world tours pretty pretty seamlessly you don't have to make a lot of cuts for it it's not like a big project or anything so we're going to begin here at spawn this is world spawn i think where the dragon is is right where i spawned into this world and from here i made this little memorial a little bit ago like <laughs> a little bit ago a few months ago from here we traveled down we traveled the world and i think we were stumbling around in this desert for a while if I recall correctly, it's been like two years at this point, you guys. So you can't, you can't, you gotta cut me some slack. I haven't been over in this area for quite some time. Anyway, I came up here, sun setting. We're just gonna fix that real quick. That's lovely. Okay. Came through here. I was wandering through the desert. Um, there was a montage of this in my first episode. Not a very good episode in my first episode. I would not recommend it. Anyway, I came through here, and my goodness, this is easier with an elytra. But I came from spawn, and I wandered all the way over to this lovely little village. I'd like to say, um, last world tour, I tried to do things chronologically, which meant kind of going around in a weird order. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to go to the main area. We'll just look at things as they come by. I'm not going to try to do it chronologically like I did last time. But anyway... We came through here and we explored this little village. And this is a village that we have been meant to be renovating. But like, I haven't actually done any renovating at all. At least not very much. You can see some over there. But yeah, I came through here, I ransacked all the stuff. I think I still have the blast furnace that was right there at my house. I don't know what's up with this. Is this just textures being weird? Is this just mixed textures being weird? I think. I have some weird resource packs that I don't think have been updated to 19.1 or 19 or perhaps 18. I don't know. It's just stuff I have downloaded. Anyway, we came to this village, all fun and dandy, and we've been working on renovating it. So as you can see, the first renovation I think we did was in episode 11 with this staircase, followed by, what was it, like episode 19... Something. The episode where we made the meadow was also the episode where we did this. Uh, we made this house, there's a box of moss there, and I planted some trees in front of it, and really that's all I've done here. The goal, I think, is to make it like a nice little lush village eventually, but very clearly that is not what this has happened. This, that's not what this is right now. So, anyway, from the village, we came, we grabbed some villagers, this is not chronological, but we came and we went this way. No, we did. We didn't. I'm see. I'm still framing this like it's chronological. It's not. From the village, we reached this little area over by the desert. I bet you didn't know those two places were so close. Well, they are. I bet. <laughs> what is going on here? Why can't I just traverse the tr train? Thank you. Um, over here, we started this area relatively recently. I think all of this is post first world tour and post one year anniversary, I believe. So this is all fairly new. Um, within the last year. So we have this wall right here. I think this is the first thing we built over here. This building still doesn't really have a, still doesn't really have a purpose. There's some, ew, I don't know where the axolotls went. 
That's unfortunate. They were named, so they kind of just despawned. I don't know. I don't know where they went. Um, we also built this building, which I'm still pretty proud of. I like this one a lot, actually. This is a nice, fun little house. This was an experiment with, I think, texturing. I think it turned out pretty well. As far as I can remember, there's nothing on the inside, though, except maybe in LA. Yeah, nothing on the inside. You need to build very big buildings to get big interiors, and you'll see that later when we get to our stop over there. Anyway, we also have this building over here. There's a bunch of villagers in here. Originally, this was planned to be like a villager, excuse me, excuse me, this was planned to be like some villager trading hall <laughs> composter abomination. Yeah, this was planned to be a trading hall, but I don't really need to trade with villagers in this world, so it's kind of pointless. We just have a bunch of villagers roaming around in here. I might let them free. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with these guys. But the from here, from the villagers, we come along the minecart system. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Well, okay, from the villagers, we go on the minecart system to here. This is the Circle of Strife, and oh boy, this was episode 20... I don't know what episode this was. 24, 25, somewhere along there, 26 maybe? I don't remember. Uh, this was a very massive undertaking. This, as you can see, if we fly up, as I said, if we fly up, you can see this place is kind of big. It's kind of a big area. Um, it, yeah, it took a lot of time. I think this is, I think this is probably the biggest build I've ever, well, no, not probably. This is the biggest build I've ever done in one episode, and it is also probably the biggest build I will ever do in one episode. So, that's fun. There was a Ravager in there. I don't know where he went. Anyway, continuing this way from the desert, we come to this new-ish area, fairly new. Uh, 119 snapshots new, so however long ago that was. Um, we had this little boardwalk area. This is our most recent project. Uh, I've been working on that. But we also have this nice little house over here, which we built, I think, when the mangrove stuff first came out. There's, I don't think, anything in here besides a frog and a crafting table. Yes, right here. But it's nice. I really like this house, actually. It looks pretty Pretty fun, please. Hang on a minute. Hang on just one minute. There's a white frog. Hello? Is this you? Who are you? Hoppy and Boppy were the... He's one that I already caught. Who are you? You're not... Who? What? Okay, well, Hoppy and Boppy were white frogs. Everybody else was red, so... I don't know. I don't know what's up with you. Um, I would assume you were named, but anyway, this is, pr I think, one of the original frogs we had in this world. Anyway, all these chests are 1.19 stuff that we were messing around with over here. This is the big building, and I, we worked on this last episode, I think. I cannot remember what I had done last episode and what I didn't, so... You're just going to get to see all of this, I guess. This is a big building that we started putting together relatively recently. I think it's our most recent project undertaken in this world. It is a big building. It's, it's pretty big. The point of it was to be big so that we have space to do fun, big interiors. So if you come up here, like, look at this. We have fun stuff, fun... All sorts of fun stuff around here. It is, as you can see, very unfinished. There's some little bedrooms. I'm not quite sure what this place is trying to be. It's like... I don't know. It's kind of weird. But I like it. I'm having a lot of fun with the interiors of this place. There's also this area down here, which I don't think I'm done clearing out. Oh, I am. Yeah, okay. It's all cleared out. This is the big hole. I think this was your last episode. Maybe I haven't done anything since last episode, actually. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, yeah, it's been a while since the last episode, so you remember just as well as me what's happened since then. But anyway, coming along from there. So that was the desert area over there. You come down the mangrove area around through this path that we just set up 
episode 30, I think. And you come through here. These are relatively new buildings. We put these up a few episodes ago. These aren't really like meant to be functional buildings as much as they are supposed to be atmospheric buildings. So they're really here to just give off the vibe of stuff, right? They're not really meant to have a <laughs> they're not really meant to have a purpose. They're just meant to be here. I think they do a pretty good job at being here. Um what's up here? I think up this way we have just just here's <laughs> at least there's chicken. Um yeah, there's nothing up here. There is a wheat farm, but I think you can access that from another path. So let's keep going down here. Yeah, okay. Here's the wheat farm path. If you follow this path to go through here, there is a lovely little wheat farm that we put together. And I like the large wheat fields. I think they're kind of fun. So that's there. Here's our tree farm, our highly efficient tree farm. Um, this is what we used. This is used. This is what we use to get all of the wood in this world. This, as you can probably tell, is like the most densely packed area here. So let's go to sleep and then I guess I'll just show you all of it. Starting with the first thing we built in this world. This love the the the, the homey homely starter house. I forget which one of those means homely, but I think it's homely. The homely starter house. This was the first thing we created in this world and of course it's overgone some changes over time. But it stayed relatively the same. Maybe we put some leaves around it here or there. Maybe we change the windows. Maybe we put an axolotl in here at some point. That's kind of going crazy because it's on some fences. But overall, I'd say this has been pretty much the same the entire series. Um, the inside has changed a lot. There was a lot of chests and grabbage around here. Now there's not a lot of chests and grabbage. There is a snowman now, though, so maybe that's better. Anyway, coming through here, this is a new-ish edition. I don't think it's that new, actually. This always feels new. This is the storage room we have right now. This is the storage room that I'm still using, which is kind of bonkers. We need to build a new one. That's my plan for next episode, if we ever get if we ever get the next episode. That's the plan, is to build big storage room slash library place. It'll be pretty cool, I think. Yeah, that's where we keep all of our grabbage. Out here, we have this nice aesthetic area. This is where all the blacksmithery is. Keep in mind, I was kind of a baby back when I built this. Not all of it looks great, but it looks fine enough. And here, this is where we had our... There's not, nobody in here now. This is where we originally had our villagers, but I think they left and escaped, which is fine. That's fine. <laughs> I don't, as I said earlier, I don't really need villagers. This, we built this when the 1.17, 1.17 snapshots were being a thing. This was when copper and candles was introduced. Yes, I remember this. This is in November of 2020. Um, yeah, so this is a fun time. We built this area. They still have not fixed the bug where you can't see the flames through the tinted glass, by the way. That's been a persistent issue ever since the candles came out. And this just leads back into the storage room. And you used to be able to get into it, but now you cannot because I placed more chests here. And then back here is the plan, which needs to be updated. I added this part just before starting this episode, so I didn't forget it. Um, we set this up and it's been getting chopped off and added to and all that fun stuff ever since then. So there's still a few things left on this list. Um, I think I can... No, that still has Mesa Base on it, which always needs to be worked on, always. This sugarcane farm. I replaced these with... I think I did this off camera. I replaced these with solid blocks a little bit ago because I think the sugarcane was hitting the glass panes and not going into the hoppers. So, yeah. Look, we've got more sugarcane now, so I actually can't take that out. That's been there for forever. Yeah, sugarcane farm. Very simple. I'm sure you know how they work. Coming through this skinny little pathway, we reach a bridge that leads back into the desert. I don't think you need me to show you that. And we also see the meadow. The meadow is a project that probably should get more work done on it, but I have to figure out kind of what, it, what I want it to be first. Um, it's pretty fun down here. Oh, <laughs> this is where I set up the anvil experiment. 
for the intro of last episode. Yeah, um, okay. It's the meadow. It's a lot of fun. It is beautiful. That's the point of this area, is beautiful. Coming up this pathway, we reach the Temple of Bernie Float, which we finished last year, on the last year anniversary. And I don't think I've touched it since then, right? 1.18? <laughs> yeah, okay, I haven't touched Bernie Float for a long time. He's still thinking that we're on 1.18, which we most certainly are not. So, yeah, <laughs> here we are. Bernie Float. Um, this was kind of a staple of the early days of this Let's Play. Was the I kind of had a running gag with this guy, but it, it seems that he stopped talking. He hasn't said anything meaningful for a while, so we'll just leave him to his own devices. Here we meet the Chicken Prison. This is when Skull Sensors came out. They are constantly being almost killed, but not quite. It looks like there's only one of them in there right now. I'll have to restock it. Yeah, there's not there's not much to this build. It's just kind of fun thing that's always almost killing the chickens, but not quite. It is now that I realize what like a mon monumentous task I've taken on. There's a lot of stuff in this world to show in a world tour. I'm trying to go quickly here, but there's a lot of stuff to get through, so just bear with me. We're almost to the end, I promise, I think. We're probably like halfway there. This is a sheep farm. It's been shearing sheep since like episode 6, and I have not collected any of it, so... It's all here. There's like two sheep in there. And they're always getting sheared, so... That's nice. I bet they've run out of shears, actually. That would be my guess, right? They haven't, actually. That's fun. Okay. So I'm just not around enough for the sheep farm to work. Anyway, coming down here. We had a llama here once. We don't anymore. I should probably tear this down, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Down here we have another aesthetic wheat field, and then we also have this little area, which was meant to be like a beehive sanctuary, but it's not really that anymore because I don't think there's any bees in here. And then behind that is a little green screen where I made a commercial once. There's not much to it other than I made a commercial. You can watch it if you'd like. It's an episode. It's like six minutes long, I think. Anyway, coming down this path, this leads us to a whole... This is where the villagers used to live, by the way. This leads us to a whole other area. Basically, we have desert on one side, the plains where we live on the other, and then another desert on this side. So this is where we did some exploding of warped trees, because I needed warped wood for a roof that you'll see later on. So we did that. We did some exploding over here. This is the creeper farm. Is it productive? Um, ish. <laughs> Very, actually. That's a lot of gunpowder. That's far more than I expected. Yeah, creeper farm works out well. It's how we get all the rockets. And if we head this way, there is a very long railway that used to lead all the way over there. This is how I transported the first villagers. As you can see, there's still evidence of them here. I would trap them inside this little building. Yes, okay, and then I would, I would transport them all the way back to the base using the furnace minecarts. I should probably, if I ever want to move them again, I should probably put these blocks back. And that's as much as I've done on this side of the world. I haven't done too much. I'm pretty sure the ocean is that way. The only ocean I know of in existence, by the way, is over there. I kind of realize now that this is not a particularly good seed. There's, like, no variation of biomes ever. I think I found, like, three biomes. Four biomes. Okay, I found a mesa, I found a desert, I found plains, and I found savanna. None of those are, like, the best biomes. So... Uh, yeah, it's not not the best seed, but it's the one we got, so we got to keep with it. Anyway, coming through here, we have... Oh boy, I just skipped all this. Okay, portal right here. There's a mine down here. I don't believe there's anything important down there, but that is pre-height changes. So if we go to the bottom of the world, I think the bottom of the world here is still at zero. It doesn't go to negative numbers. Up there is a super smelter, and then right here is where I threw a bunch of chicken eggs. And that's a chicken farm in there. That's how I get all my roast chicken to eat. Coming down this pathway here, this is when the 1.17... Okay. Yes, 1.17 moss... 
1.18 Mosh Mosh La I don't know. I don't know what update it was. When all the moss and lush stuff came out and those snapshots, we built all this. Um, this was Fancy Peachy's home. He hated it. He has not visit us, visited us since. So that's kind of disappointing. And then there's also just this little house over here that I built. Oh, what? Why are there two dragon eggs? Well, just take care of that one, I guess. Um, That's inconvenient. There we go. Okay, this is a nice little lake that I built. This is the closest thing right here. This is the closest thing you'll get to finding a taiga in my world. Um, I kept some goats in here at some point in time. They have since jumped out and run away, and I think I killed them. Let's continue heading through here. It's reaching dark time once again. Um, okay, coming up through here, we have... This is what I used the warped wood on, by the way. Oh no, the goats aren't here. Yes, I'm not going in there. I don't want them to escape, but this is where the goats are. And then coming up here, we have this very avant-garde freeform building. Nothing much inside of it. It has a very stylistic way of opening the, <laughs> opening the doors. We have an end portal here, which we'll get to in a moment. This leads you back down to those houses that we looked at earlier. And this is a, I believe this is a flower farm right and you kind of have to do some parkour to get into it which i don't think was intentional but now it's here so yes yes okay it's a too tall flower farm um you can use it to flat you can use it to farm all the flowers that you need to farm so that's great oh <laughs> that's unfortunate i'm just gonna kind of throw all that away hop on out I guess now we're wandering in the dark. That's fine. This area is relatively safe. Um, if we come down here, here is our iron farm. We've got iron for years in here. We can get all the iron. And I can show you what's up there, but I don't think there's much interesting stuff. I think it's an old design from probably three or four years ago at this point. It's not super efficient, but it works. All the iron comes down into this tube. Through here, through the water stream, and into this lovely building that gives me deja vu every time I walk into it. Look at this. Here's all of our iron. So, that's nice. I don't even need iron that much. Here's our horse. I forget his name. He had a name, right? Llama named either Larry or Frank. And an LA. Here's some flower fields. There's not much to show here. They're just flowers. But they're kind of fun. They look nice. So, yes. So, they're here. And then if we wander through here, I think we meet up back to our tree farm in this old area. Yes, okay, so let's sleep. There's a few more things in this world that have to be shown. And then I think we're all good for this world tour, and thus the two-year anniversary of this world, which is kind of freaking wacko nuts so bonkers, man. And then we'll be ending this episode, and thusly the two-year anniversary of this world, which is kind of bonkers, man. So... That's cool. Anyway, <laughs> I, can't, I can't seem to find a bed. So we're just going to come through here. This is a nice little area, right? We have this nice little wall here. We'll go down there in just a second. We have this nice little wall here. Pretty fun. It's a fun ruins thing that I set up probably like two episodes ago. All this stuff is relatively new. Down here into the tunnel we go. It's kind of fun to look at all these colors just go by. Yeah. Um, I still have absolutely no idea what we're going to put down here. I just built it because it was fun. So, it's here now. And I think that's most of the things we have up in this section of the world. We're going to have to go to the nether to visit all the other things. So, that's spooky. We just have these frogs over here. And I'm going to fly over this. Oh my goodness, it's so lag over here. Yeah. <laughs> they're all just trying to swim around and escaping. Yeah, they're up to they're up to no good, I don't think. Yeah, they're, they're up to mischief. These frogs are always being kind of chaotic. So that's the main area of the world, really, is this section right here. This just big area right here is the main area of the world. But if we go into the nether, there's a few other things that probably deserve to be shown as well. Such as this. <laughs> this beautiful half-rendered nether hub. Um, if we, It lets us walk to the other side of this. There we go. 
we can enter the Mesa Besa. That should be what is right here, is the Mesa Besa. And the Mesa Besa is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's a base that we put in the Mesa. I'm not quite sure why we did this. It was relatively early on. Episode 7, I think, is when we started this. Relatively early on. Um, we've done not much with it here, actually. There's a building here where there's like a bed and stuff in there. There's nothing too important in there. The main reason I come to the Mesa Basin nowadays is to gather terracotta, which I do in here. This is where I got my beacon, or this is where I put my beacon. Because with a haste one beacon, you can instamine terracotta. So that's convenient. Anyway, that's basically the Mesa Basin. There's not much else to see there. I'm going to have to do a lot of flying around now because everything else is kind of spread about. Back into the nether portal we go. Because everything else is either in the end or only accessible via the nether. Or loads of flying, I guess. Here's the next portal in the network. I believe there's not much notable here. Um, I believe this is a fun chunk border area that I found when we updated to 1.18, I believe. There were fun chunk borders, so I updated early because I wanted fun chunk borders. We're going to do something eventually, I hear eventually, I swear. We're going to have a little city on here, a little village with all sorts of pathways going up and down. It'll be great. But right now, it's just a chunk border and an ugly one at that. So we're going to leave it be. And now we're back in the nether again. Um, uh-oh. I'm not down here a lot just because it's pretty inconvenient to fly to. I'm not quite sure what this portal is. Um, it just kind of appeared one day. This leads me to the fun 1.18 Christmas area, which exists, <laughs> which is kind of weird. I, the Christmas special thing was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, we built this fun little area. It was inspired by Diagon Alley, and it worked out pretty well, actually. Uh, I think I was just here last episode, actually, so you'll probably remember this if you're just watching these all episodically. Hello. I'm stuck. Can I not just fly out of this? Oh my goodness. That's inconvenient. But yeah, this fun little area. I like this street a lot. We're going to have to come through and finish that eventually. And also, oh, it started raining. I was going to show you all this fun stuff, but it turns out that it's raining now. So I guess I'm just going to have to die. Because now all that we have left is, oh, yeah. Okay, I can show you this too. Because now all we have left is the stuff in the end. So that'll be fun to look at. End to the end we go. I've been having some problems with my end recently because it seems that there are zero mobs spawning in the end. There are no ender... <laughs> okay. There are no endermen in the end, actually. Which means my enderman farm has ceased working, which means that my XP is a limited resource once again. So that's unfortunate here's the enderman farm um i wouldn't show this off normally because i don't think it's too too notable it's just a design i got from da -da -da -da, youtube somewhere yeah this is where i did all my endermaning this is where i got all my xp from before all the endermen just died <laughs> i don't know where they all went there's another enchanting table in here and then there's like a kind of weird network of things I planned to do something with this, probably, but I don't think I ever got anything done with it, so. Yeah, that's that's the end, basically. The end of this video. <laughs> it does, in fact, wrap it up for today, though. And, I don't know, it feels like a kind of... Hmm. Feels kind of weird to me. This is supposed to be the two year anniversary special, and we haven't really done anything all too special. But we did a world tour, which I guess we needed. So, yeah, that's been this video. Um, I have plans for the next episode. When will the next episode get released? I have honestly no idea. Do you know what, guys? I am literally the busiest person to even exist nowadays. It is so, so difficult to even find the time to sit down and work on just one of these episodes. Which is why I went with a world, world tour today, because it would be a thing that I could finish relatively easily and quickly.
That is all for me today. I've been Peachy Banjo. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Yeah.